First elected as a Liberal MLA in 1996, Hawkins rose rapidly through the political ranks, serving as Minister of Health and Planning and later as Minister of State of Intergovernmental Relations. Through her political career, Hawkins earned the reputation as being one not to back down from her critics. We're politicians. We're going into election, obviously. The NDP is saying we're not going to deliver a bridge. We're here to say today we are going to deliver a bridge. Before politics, Hawkins was a registered nurse and later earned a law degree specializing in medical legal issues. Her health took a turn for the worse in 2004 when she was diagnosed with leukemia but appeared to be on the road to recovery following a successful bone marrow transplant from her sister. In 2008, Hawkins decided to put politics aside and announced that she would not be seeking re-election. I, I really feel like I lived the Canadian dream. It's going to sound corny, but um, you know, a, a little girl, five years old, immigrant from India, coming here um, with her parents, growing up on the prairies, and um, being told by my dad, you can do whatever you want to do. This is a country with great opportunity. Shortly after, she moved to Calgary to be with her family, where her battle with cancer continued until Monday. Cindy Hawkins was 52. In Kelowna, Kelly Hayes, Castanet Media.